Hi guys, Retro Django here. Well, I got contacted by an um, a new Amiga owner that uh, wants to buy an Amiga 600. Uh, he got himself an Amiga 500 a couple of months ago and um, I borrowed him uh, joysticks and RAM and external disk drive and helped him all the way and um, and now he's just hooked on the Amiga again. He had the Amiga back in the 80s and 90s but uh, he's just crazy with the Amiga, just like me. <laughs> so um, he just called and he said he wants to buy an Amiga 600 and he wants to play WSD load games on it. Um, so we talked a bit and I told him that 2 megabyte chip RAM, if you watch my videos, I love having 2 megabyte chip RAM for WSD load gaming. It's just a must for me. I know 1 megabyte can probably also do it, but 2 megabyte is just a way. And um, we also need some fast RAM. Some say 4 megabytes is, is enough, but I think 8 megabyte is the way to go. So, I told him that I could build him an uh, Amiga 600. Uh, and we could install a little accelerator card in it, have some more memory and uh, a, little more, uh, a little bit more speed so we can run the WSD load games. So, um, watch this video with me guys. Let's uh, build this lovely Amiga 600 up. I took the screws off. And, oh, I forgot to take the plug out here. So this is how an Amiga 600 looks inside. PCM's PC MCIA slot here on the side. Kickstart 2.0. And um, And it's got the, um, it's still got the 68,000 processor and what more, what more. I think the RAM is here. One megabyte of chip RAM. We're gonna install another megabyte of chip RAM here. Mouse and joystick port. Uh, pretty simple stuff, but still a nice computer because of the built-in ID controller here. I just love that feature on the Mega 600 and also the Mega 1200. So let's uh, put in the Furia card and um, see how it runs. Oh, before we do that, let's just test this machine first because I have a bunch of Mega 600s not tested. So uh, let's see how this one runs first. <laughs> Let me just plug everything on. All right, everything is plugged in and ready to be turned on for the first time. So let's give it a go. The PSU is tested and in perfect condition. And we got a gray screen. It takes a little time on the Amiga 600 and especially on the Amiga 1200. Oh yes, Kickstart 2.0. Nice, it works. So let's uh, put in the test disk. Oh, it doesn't sound right. Nope. All right, this disk drive needs cleaning and all that. I'm not gonna use my time on that. So I'm gonna replace it with another disk drive and let's test it. All right, I just hacked that Amiga and uh, took out the disk, disk drive from it. So. Uh, and installed it into this one. I'm gonna, I hope this one works. Uh, I think, I think I cleaned this disk drive for a, about six months ago. I, I think it's that one, but I, I'm not sure because I don't have all my Amigas uh, at home. I, I only have few Amigas at my place. The rest of it is at my friend's place and all that. So I'm not a uh, hundred percent sure, but um, I think this one is clean then. Uh, well, let's just test it out. This is the old one. 
yeah, it sounds great. All right, so I love the sys chest by KAF, and here's his mail. Um, thank you, sir, for this program. It's just, it's great. We got one megabyte of chip RAM. That's nice. Floppy drive. Read test. That's nice. Audio. Left. Right. All right, audio test. Yeah, video test, we can see all the three colors. That's nice. All right, so let's just install uh, this Furia card and see what's gonna happen. <laughs> Before we install it, let's take a quick look at the Furia card. Made in Poland, produced by Lotharex. <clears throat> As you can see, it gets installed directly on the CPU. That's nice. Um, it's hard to see what's written here. Oh, it's an uh, FPU here. And this must be the O20. This must be the RAM. I think this one got eight or nine megabytes of RAM. I'm not sure. And uh, that jumper, it must be something for enabling and disabling this, I think. I'm not sure, guys, but um, let's just plug it in and see what's gonna happen. <laughs> this is the first time I actually play with one of these, so uh, yeah. I think for the money. This is a real nice expansion for the Amiga 600 with the O20 CPU. You can actually play uh, WST load gaming. And uh, when you install two megabytes of chip RAM and have the eight, nine megabytes of fast RAM on this, you can actually play your WST load games. And uh, for the price, I really like this. I mean, um, it will be faster than an Amiga 1200, that's for sure. All right, we're missing the AGA options. And then um, at one time I actually wanted to replace my Amiga 1200 with my Amiga 500 plus and uh, use that one as main computer. And um, so I asked people about if I was missing anything with the, any of the AGA games because uh, I was thinking about the Almost all the AGA games were also produced for the ECS chipset or OCS, what it's called, the old system. But uh, then some guy actually wrote to me, here is a list of all the only AGA produced games and I was in shock. I mean, my main using Amiga needs to have um, AGA chips installed. Uh, as of right now, I'm actually not using my uh, my 1200. I'm using an Amiga 4000 with a Cyberstorm uh, accelerator card inside, and I am just in love with it. The speed of the Cyberstorm is just it's incredible. And I had the, and I and I used my zip stick, the black one with yellow buttons, and I got this for a couple of weeks ago. I had it when I was a little kid, and I'm telling you, this joystick would auto fire. I love the zip stick, but this is just incredible. If you get the chance, buy one of these. It was cheap, and it plays great, a great arcade joystick. <laughs> so uh, let's just uh, install this bad boy and. Uh, and make a sys chest. <laughs> the Fury is installed. It looks furious. <laughs> um, this one was inside the box. It says Commodore 116 dash plus four. It looks like something for the IDE or something like that. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Um, so let's uh, turn it on and see what's gonna happen. One megabyte the extra chip RAM is going to be installed next. I just want to install one part at a time. 
So, um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna turn over here. And uh, let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, I just turned it on and... Whoa. Well, that was fast. <laughs> the Furia card is definitely working. That was really, really fast out out there. Nice. Okay, I just inserted the disc, so... Oh man, it's fast. <sighs> Look at this, guys. 68020. I mean, this is perfect for WSD Note Gaming. Let's check out the memory here. Oh, there's a difference. Look at this. Let's list the RAM. All right, we have the built-in one megabyte chip RAM on the motherboard. We got eight megabytes of fast RAM and 1.5 slow RAM. Oh my God, this is just, this is perfect for WSD load. Um, the Furia works, the Distra works, sound works. So uh, next thing must be installation of the one megabyte of chip RAM. I asked him, only once because uh, I'm not keen on selling this but I asked him if he, he wanted to buy this also the scan doubler and he said no <laughs> so I'm gonna keep this because this one also uh, not, I can use it on the Mika 600 like this uh, most people uh, uh, when they do this they actually unsolder the RF uh, thingy here and um, and put this one, the VGA output, out here. It, it, it fits perfect. And then you can use yeah, all the new VGA output, the uh, scan doublers, uh, I mean VGA, the LCD screens and all that. And it, I have one of these in my Amiga 2000 and it works great. It also works on the Amiga 500. So I just, I'm in love with it. So uh, that's just perfect. All right, guys, so this is the last thing I want to install. So um, we got this A604, one megabyte of RAM expansion, as you can see, new. And um, we got a battery here. And some thing for, I think, for the real-time clock expansion, if you want. And on the other side here. the side down. <laughs> I actually like this uh, using the holder for the disk drive, the screw up there, so uh, that's nice. So let's let's do that guys. I'm just in love with the with the speed of how fast it actually starts up when I turn on the Amiga. It's just ready in a in a flash. <laughs> so I installed the one megabyte of uh, chip wrap expansion oh my god look at this guys we got two megabyte chip ram eight fast 1.5 slow rain so the only thing missing is a keyboard chest so i will reassemble this machine this lovely computer uh, and test the keyboard also the led lines everything has to work you know Oh, wait, 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 we need to test mouse, <laughs> left and right button, everything works, and here, port 2, I need to test the joystick here, joystick port up, down, left, right, out of fire, and front off, yeah, alright, nice, so the only thing I need to test now is actually the keyboard, other than that, this should be a lovely WSD load machine. Nice. Let's try the keyboard now. Two. Alright, it seems to work all fine. Okay. 
of course the Amiga 600 doesn't have the numeric <laughs> but as you can see everything on the keyboard works how do I go back control there we go working machine let's just test it with a game and then I'm all set if you watch my channel you know that my favorite test disc is this Turkan 1 it runs with only 512 kilobytes of um, chip RAM no fast RAM is required and the disk drive sweet music to my ears so uh, let's see how it runs left and right channel um, so we can test the audio the proper way yep <laughs> it works great guys all right we have to end the video now because i'm gonna call him and tell him that this amiga is ready for him this amiga is ready to be picked up because he really really can't wait <laughs> we have been uh, writing to each other um, first you should just have a standard amiga 600 then we Man. Then we talked about um, WSD load gaming and the first thing I always say is 2 megabytes of chip RAM. I don't care, get 2 megabytes of chip RAM in your Amiga if you want to play WSD load games. Um, so um, he bought that too, um, too cheap. <laughs> and then we talked about some uh, fast RAM and then we talked about accelerator cards. So now it's with the Furia O20. Um, with enough RAM and it just works guys it's it's great so uh, I want to say thank you for watching and if you like this video give it a thumbs up until next time play some cheer again guys bye okay I really kind of shoot and jump same so I'm gonna play this game without shooting. Turk in without shooting. <laughs> Let's see how long it can. I got an extra life here. Yeah. Um, off to fire off. Here we go. Nice. It works great, guys. Oh. Alright, alright, the machine works. <laughs> Have a nice day guys, bye. <laughs>